The Pentagon put together its worst case scenario for Fort Carson. The Mountain Post could lose two thirds of its soldiers and civilian workers over the next six years. Which would not be a good thing for local businesses, but a congressman says the Pikes Peak region doesn't have to worry just yet. KRDO News Channel 13's Carl Winder talked to people in the Pikes Peak region about the possible cuts. Black Bear Coffee and Tea is a popular place for Fort Carson soldiers. So the military is a big part of our business. If the Pentagon's report were to come true, Fort Carson would lose 16,000 Army positions by 2020. That would cripple the Black Bear's business. Probably represents a good 25 to 30 percent of our sales. And Not only would businesses around Fort Carson feel the effects, but so would the rest of the Pikes Peak region. Sure, but it would take a long time to recover from that significant uh, a cut in people. The report shows the Pikes Peak region would lose nearly a billion dollars a year if that many soldiers and civilian workers were to lose their positions at the Mountain Post. Biggest direct impact might be on the South End, um, but their their impact is felt across this community. That's a worst case scenario that will never happen. Colorado Congressman Doug Lamborn says people in the Pikes Peak region shouldn't worry. We have Pinion Canyon with over 100,000 acres. We have high altitude terrain up in the mountains. So there are really advantage, big advantages for here. Even though Fort Carson is the best hometown in the Army, if the Pentagon's report comes true, this hometown could get a lot smaller. In Colorado Springs, Carl Winder, KRDO News Channel 13. Thank you, Carl. Even though this is the Pentagon study, Fort Carson says it doesn't expect to make any cuts. Now